College Football Week 8, the WCE Top 10. Brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six incredible sports books down there. You got the Gold Strike, Horseshoe, Hollywood, First Jackpot, Fitz Casino, Sam's Town. Place is rocking. Go check out more information over at tunicatravel.com. You can find more information about our top 10, about our recaps, or about everything that we do, our picks during the week, etc., etc., over at winningcureseverything.com. If you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button for us. Let's start rolling. Who you got number 10, buddy? My number 10, I have the University of Florida. Florida? I've got Florida. Okay, okay. I mean, I get... You know what, man? Now that you said that, like, I really feel like I should have redone my... They got they got one loss and it is to Kentucky. Dude, who's that the top Kentucky team, team is a really good team, and then the win against LSU is a big win. The win against Mississippi State's a big win. You know they haven't had any other letdowns other than that. I've got insane big name bias in these, and I feel terrible. God, okay, I'm I'm going to change one of them, but my my number yeah my number ten is uh, Central Florida. So I've got Central right. Florida in the top ten. They don't have any big wins right now. Uh, the team that they just went toe to toe with in Memphis got blasted by Missouri. Um, you know, not not great, but uh, but they are still undefeated. And so long as they are there, they are not jumping out of my top ten. Who you got number nine? Number nine, I got Texas. Texas all the way down to nine. Well, I mean, that's where I got them. I don't okay, know. Okay. I don't know if that's all the way down, but that's where I got them. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. You Dave. know, they, they they they've got a big win against Oklahoma. They still have the loss against Maryland that looks worse and worse every week. So, I mean, I don't know that that helps them. Everybody I have above them. Now, I've got two schools above them that you obviously are probably going to disagree with, but maybe not. So, one of them you obviously do because they're your number 10 team. I've got them higher. Yeah, but, that, but that's okay. That's totally reasonable. But I've got Texas. All right, uh, number nine for me, I've got Georgia, but I feel like it should be Florida. Um, look, Florida has the one loss, but their win is way better than any, any win. win Georgia has. I agree. Yeah, and and Florida's got multiple wins that are better than any win that Georgia's got. That uh, that's why so, I have Florida in my top ten. All right, so here I'm putting Florida at number nine. I'm gonna have Georgia back at like eleven. Like I'll just drop them out of the top ten. So my number eight I have is Georgia. I think Georgia has one big loss. It's a big loss, but I've watched them play. I think I mean if we're just gauging wins and and like big wins, you know there aren't. It's hard to gauge that sometimes. I think Georgia's a really good team. I think they're a really talented team. I think they got beat by a better team. But I, don't I think know. they got don't, destroyed by a better team. True, but um, okay. But it, saying that, my number eight team just got destroyed. I've got Ohio State at number oh. eight because I feel like they oh. are still be, like. I think Ohio State could beat Florida. I think Ohio State could beat Central really? Florida. I think Ohio State could they beat had six Georgia. Six points with like, half of the third quarter gone. I think that six. They, I think they ran into an absolute buzzsaw in Purdue. But like I know Purdue. that's West Lafayette. That buzzsaw. sounds funny, right? That sounds like that's not what that's supposed to be. I don't know that that's ever happened. But I think Ohio State is. But like, would it surprise you if Ohio State runs the table? Kind of, yeah. But I haven't picked them to do it all season, though. I agreed, but like I, I thought they would have two or three losses the whole time. I can't tell you when, but I just, I just know how college football works. And yeah. you don't just wake up in the morning and say we're gonna all go undefeated. It's never happened. Have we ever had a year where more than two Power Five teams have been undefeated at the same time? Uh, yeah, two thousand four or three, three or four, two thousand three, two thousand four. Auburn was the one left out when Oklahoma and USC. Oh, though they were all three undefeated. All That's three right. undefeated, and then uh, was that the year that Utah was undefeated? Or, yeah, but or yeah, but was. Utah wasn't Power Five at the time. Oh no, TCU West. or Boise or somebody was it? But but, they, but like I said, those weren't Power Five teams. Well, they they weren't, but Auburn. No, was. All, there was three then. Yeah. I forgot the Auburn year what they all were. And so um, what number we on? Number seven. Who you got seven? I got Central Florida here. Okay, I think Central Florida's good. The way they have played, A, I've been saying it forever, they're the best team in the state of Florida, so I have to have them over Florida. I just believe that. They're better than Florida. I think they're better than Texas right now. I don't know that they're better than Georgia, but they haven't lost. Georgia has. 
the people they've beaten aren't a whole hell of a lot worse than the people Georgia's beaten. So we need now to stop point there. beating up on their strength of schedule. You you got a point there. Uh, my number seven is Oklahoma. Uh, they fall in here like they they're just not in my top top ten. They Oklahoma is not in your top ten at all. No. I mean, they look, they're beating up on Big 12 teams. This is what I've said for weeks and weeks and weeks. They are built to beat Big 12 teams. Correct. When they run up against somebody that is not built like a Big 12 team, like your prototypical Big 12 team, i.e. Texas, Army, whatever, they have problems. My, bo- my bottom tier was strictly built around Georgia, Texas, Florida, Oklahoma. One of those teams had to be left out. Oklahoma was the one that got left out because Florida has the biggest win. I think Georgia's overall a better team, and Texas beat them head-to-head. If Texas okay. doesn't have that win in their pocket, Oklahoma's there. Okay. So that that's my logic. All right. Uh, who have you got at number six? My number six is completely different than anybody else, I think, in the country, and I'm giving it to my boy Mike Leach and Wazoo because I see them as an undefeated football team because that's what they rightfully are. They had the Pac-12 give them a complete screw job to take away – an opportunity to win a game against USC. If that doesn't happen and they're undefeated, we absolutely have them in the top six. You're probably right. I mean, we had West Virginia in the top six at one point. That's right. They had not really beaten a whole lot of us. And this team, really good offensively, really good defensively. Tell me what they do badly. They're they're a top 15 team as far as efficiency goes in total defense and total offense. Tell me what they do badly. Nothing. I hadn't, I hadn't figured their that coach, part out yet. Their coach is crazier than any of the coaches here listed. I mean, you got a you got a valid point there. I think they're a top six team. I see them as an undefeated team. If we're going to whitewash away early season wins like we are with the Maryland win, then why can't we do it with the USC win? Because that USC law I guess Maryland loss for Texas. Why can't the USC loss be just whitewashed away? USC is a better team. Than I can't Maryland. figure this out. Like AP poll or coaches poll, one or the other uh, on Sunday came out and had Washington still ranked like a couple of head or a couple of spots ahead of Washington State with two losses. Yeah, I don't get uh, it. And including just, one to a team it, that Washington State just beat. It is. It is strictly. It is strictly biased to the big names. That's what college sports are. If yeah. you're a blue blood and Washington has become the premier program or one of the premier programs in the Pac-12, so you get the benefit of the doubt. There is no, there's no question that it was complete shenanigans that that USC call was called back. There's none. It wasn't made by an official. It wasn't made by a referee. It, it was made, made by a Pac-12 by a, official. Uh, by a Pac-12 administrator. Yeah. Not not a referee, not somebody paid to do that. You bring up Blue Bloods, that brings me to number six. I got Texas at six. That win over Oklahoma is a fantastic win. Nobody else in the country has a better win than that, aside from Florida with their win over LSU and maybe Notre Dame, who, you know, I've got a LSU's there. win against Georgia is not better than that? Well, because we got Georgia so far back. I guess it, I you guess got it, you know what so far back. you know what I guess that makes sense right so Georgia was number two in the country that's true well Oklahoma was what three I don't know were they three three or four one or the other they were up there I wouldn't have had them higher than Clemson I wouldn't have had them higher than Notre Dame I think at that point some people did have them higher than Clemson because Clemson was looking awful at that point regardless it was a top five win there's only so many of those that have happened this year okay so. You know, Notre Dame's win over Michigan, that has looked better and better every week. Uh, at the time, it was only like a top 15 win. Uh, Texas over Oklahoma is big. LSU over Georgia is big. Florida over LSU is big. Like, other than that, mm, not a whole lot there. I mean, I guess Maryland over Texas now that Texas is up wherever. But, yeah, regardless, Maryland's not capitalizing on that. <laughs> well, they're not the same team. Uh, all right, so number uh, number five. Who you got number five? Number five, I have Big Blue. Michigan Wolverines. Are we going to have the exact same going top five? Going north? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I've got Michigan five. Okay. Uh, they look dominant on defense. Their offense looks better. I still don't know what they're doing with Shea Patterson. No, like, I'm not worried about that. That was a really good defensive team that they played. It was in the rain. It was in a storm. Yeah. I'm telling you, that game. And I know that that's what Big Ten football is. So, yeah. so you got to kind of expect that in October and November. But – 
I'm not going to judge a guy for playing poorly. He won't play a defense that – I just watched this Ohio State defense. He won't play a defense that good the rest of the season. You got four. Number four, I've got my Tigers. I got LSU as four. Um, big wins. They got a lot yeah. of big wins. Oh, they've got they've got one game, and it wasn't even a letdown. I think that just just uh, Burrow throws two picks, two pick sixes. Yeah. Well, and, and Florida was like revved up for this game, right? Yeah. Like it's a kind of a rivalry game. It now. is. It is. No, it's um, it's a rivalry game. It's been a rivalry. Yeah. Game. It's, I mean, it's been a rivalry game, for, but it's it's more. There's more juice behind it right now. There's a little bit more juice behind so, it. So, in the last, like, little, two, three years. It's yeah, a little more stank on that one. Uh, number three. So, we this might is have where different. we might differ. I've got Clemson three. <laughs> I'm not jumping Notre Dame. Notre Dame didn't do anything to to fall on their bye week. I had them two last week. I'm not knocking them down. Who do you got? Clemson number okay, three. Okay, good. Yeah, yep. we're fine. Clemson three. Uh, I think Notre that's Dame, right. Yeah, I think, I think Notre Dame has better wins. I think Notre Dame – for the most part, has looked like the better team this year. Clemson is is rounding into form, but I don't know how good the ACC is. That's it. The only game that they've done, that's it. I'm going to tell you this. If they don't blow out uh, NC State, State, you might have LSU over Clemson. I might have Michigan and LSU over Clemson. I, mean, it's I, wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be too far fit because I'm a little crazy and don't really care sometimes. I'd have Wazoo over them too. But they did their job. They beat the hell out of NC State. They controlled that game from beginning to end. Notre Dame is staying at two until they lose for one reason. Or they are the only team. If you look at the rankings now, not mine and your rankings, AP rankings, they got the best win in the whole season. Yeah. That win against Michigan is a big deal win. Yeah. And now it, it was two completely different teams than they nope, are now. You're right. You're right. Um, but it is still a win over Michigan that the playoff committee is going to use over and over and over again. Uh, on top of that, Notre Dame's strength of record right now is number one in the country. Number two, by the way. You LSU. Tigers, LSU. Uh, number one, we both got Alabama. Yeah, they will stay close. there until LSU beats them or somebody beats them. Yeah. And I don't know that there's many other opportunities other than that. That's it. They got two games. They got LSU. They got the SEC title game. Yep. Uh, so that wraps up our top ten. Uh, that is college football week eight top ten.